Ranking every single piece in the newly announced Yu-Gi-Oh! desktop collection. These are a bunch of small collectibles that sit on your desk and you can put stuff in them. Let's take a closer look. Last place I'm putting the Red Eyes Black Dragon. Not because it's bad, but because for everyone who's not Japanese it's pretty much useless. That's because it specifically holds these circular Japanese stamps that are sometimes used instead of signatures. And I'm pretty sure none of us have any of these. I'm putting Blue Eyes next. By no means a bad design and a pretty useful one because it actually holds a pen. It's just that the competition is too strong, bro. The rest of these are fire. Putting big man Seto Kaiba next. I'm telling you, they all look fantastic. I love how he's sitting on that throne. But where he falls short is this one in particular is a sticky note stand. And by sticky notes, they don't mean one of these. Nah, they mean one of these little shits. Who is storing these like that? In fact, who's storing these at all? We're in the top three territory, starting with the Pharaoh. This is not only super cool looking, but unlike Kaiba, actually useful. You can open this up like a chest and put stuff in it. Also, are we not gonna talk about the unspoken Riz of the Pharaoh? Look at how he's looking at us and holding the puzzle. It's game over. Almost as cool as the Dark Magician. Apparently he's a memo stand. I don't know what kind of memo they mean. This looks like a business card to me, which coincidentally also makes it work for regular Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It's gonna be kind of weird for it to sit sideways considering there's almost no artwork in the game that would benefit from being viewed horizontally, but still pretty cool and the fact that Dark Magician's design here looks so incredible is enough to put him at second place. But there's only one I'm actually planning on getting in real life. You know it has to be Joey, bro. What? <laughs> Not only is he rocking the classic Battle City fit, he's also got all the scapegoats around him. And what takes the cake is, again, I'm getting this in real life because this is the most useful one out of them all. This can hold your phone. I'm pretty sure all of these are released towards the end of May, so this summer you'll be catching me with this on my desk. And what's great is, I already got another phone for all kinds of sussy activities, so you know this bad boy's staying right here. Let me know which one of these is your favorite in the comments.